Welcome back, everyone, to Three at Three. I'm Chris and Allison, and uh, we're here to do. You're just Chris. I'm Allison. girlfriends. I know. I I am Chris, and I'm Allison at the same time. All right, friends. Well, as you know, we are talking about the snow globe cookie, but uh, that was our inspiration piece, and instead, we put together a snow globe I spy bag. How about that? Look how fun. Yes. Look how fun these are. So this is our I spy bag bag and it was our uh, our inspiration was the cookie and we're like how do we do a quilt blog yeah and why do we need to do a quilt blog when why we have not do fun, something different yeah we have these fun i spy bags that we are going to teach okay you to so do. tell us what an i spy bag is allison okay so an i spy bag and you can do these a lot of different ways yes but basically what an i spy is is when there is a conglomeration how's that for a good oh, word oh that's a big a one. conglomeration <laughs> or a lot of different things mm -hmm. that you can identify mm -hmm. within a certain project for the kids for the kids yeah and so i've seen i spies in bottles I've seen mm -hmm. I spy quilts where there are where it's actually printed yeah, in the, the quilt, fabric, the fabric. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but this I spy bag we actually took and we put buttons and different kinds yeah. of add-ins so that you can say okay find me the reindeer find me the candy cane find me the uh, the the puzzle you or know, you know I, whatever. Sometimes we think automatically that this is a project for the kids, but mm -hmm. I actually have a friend who makes these for uh, people at the nursing home. Oh my god. Makes oh ice spy bags and it just gives them it a chance to work on things. It probably helps too. their cognitive yeah. brain skills um, yeah. when they have to. And and not only that is uh, Abby and I were kind of laughing a little bit because she says, I remember making ice spy bottles. I hope I can share this, Abby. Uh, <laughs> shut me up if I can't. But um, she remembers making I spy bottles at her grandparents' house even as they were growing up. And they oh. would put different things. And she said it would entertain us for hours oh, wow. shaking. They would do it yes. with rice and different kinds oh, of, of uh, charms and... Yeah. and uh, different things and so I you know I think we all have a little bit of a love for an ice fight now yes mine has been sitting on my desk <laughs> and then yours has been sitting on and I have to tell you I'm constantly going hmm, what, what can I see oh yeah. look, there's Ooh, a little rain there look at that little Santa you know just just shaking those yes. but these are so fun to put together yeah Crystal's our tester yeah. and we sent the pattern over to her to test and she says I'm making them for my grandkids <laughs> Thank you. so I said oh yeah you're making them for you but yeah. these come together they're so fast, and Aww. we have a sewing version yes. and an embroidery yes, version do. for uh, both sets of sewers. Yes. So, yeah, Liz says that she makes them and uses them for relaxing and oh, medita meditation. Wow, that's a great so, idea, Liz. So, how do we get started? Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna do the sewing mm -hmm. first, and then we're gonna just give a few tips. Um, but a couple of things that I want to talk about first is that we are going to use Kimberbell vinyl. Mm -hmm. Now, anytime you use vinyl. Um, I put on our sewing machine we're showing with the Altair yes. 2, I put on a Teflon foot. Yes, I if love the Teflon. If you do not mm -hmm. have a Teflon foot, I suggest that you invest. And, and by invest, they're not really that oh, pricey. They're, no. I mean, they're, they're really nice, yeah. but it just allows um, it to glide over mm -hmm. over uh, material that kind of will tend to stick or exactly. pull just so a little bit. So even like a laminated cotton, I would use it on or... Uh, pull fabric or you know there's yeah. all kinds of things mm -hmm. that when you have trouble gliding over the you're right yep. it prevents the stick absolutely yeah. so I put these under new releases also on okay. I've seen it three at three so if okay. you don't have a Teflon foot but I already installed it okay on, on the machine the second um, trick that I'm gonna say is decrease your stitch size okay so I decreased it down to 2.0 you could go okay. even even a little bit smaller yeah. on that but uh, we we put the template and the pattern on under new releases and yeah. I have I mean it's really just two pieces you've got it your is. globe template and your base template mm -hmm. so with your globe template we are going to take and you can do this several ways you could trace these individually on here mm -hmm. but uh, what you'll want to do is you'll want to take two pieces of felt now I know you asked me the question like why two pieces of felt mm -hmm. it just gives it a little bit of it stability does. yeah once I made it one on the embroidery machine I'm like oh yeah you definitely want two pieces yep. of felt and yeah. then the second thing is I just have a piece of the Kimberbell vinyl is yes. what we're using mm -hmm. uh, you could use any vinyl but I really love this Kimberbell yes now, here's one of my tricks I am going to actually trace it on the plastic covering mm -hmm. um, 
and then I'm going to uh, cut it all out together so that everything matches. Okay. You could trace them separately and line them up, but if you want to just trace it all on this this actual coating, uh -huh. then you can take it off and you don't get fingerprints okay. when you're cutting that out. Yeah. So. so another idea that you could do, Allison, is if you didn't want to cut it out all at the same time, is I would maybe just, just draw it, it and then I would sew it, sew it and, and then, then cut, cut it. it. And that's afterwards. how I did mine too. Okay. And I was gonna I was gonna talk about that and that's how we're yeah. actually going to do it. I think because you, then you can get a really nice quarter inch or smaller mm -hmm. um, line when you cut that out. Okay, so there we go. There. Now we won't be able to sew it because this plastic is over top. Um, Chris, I sewed mine with plastic and then I cut it Did you? Yeah. Okay, well let's do that then. So I, because I didn't want fingerprints on mine. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to sew and we are going to sew right on the line and we're but we're going to leave a three inch opening so be sure to back stitch oh, you know what let me yeah oh you can sew it anywhere yeah, I'll, I'll sew it yeah. anywhere okay i'm going to back stitch yeah be sure to back stitch okay. because we are going to pull that plastic off and we don't want to pull those stitches out now if i was going to to do this um, I would use black thread on mine so that it just blended in uh -huh. but i want you to be able to see so okay Okay, and I'm, I'm leaving a small opening. Yep. All right. Okay. Now we're going to cut this out. And we're going to cut about a quarter of an inch just away from the edge. Perfect. Okay, love that. that that's a great idea to just sew over top of the plastic. Yeah. That worked out great. I said that, that vinyl you have to be a little bit careful of fingerprints and and you know not that it matters once you hand it <laughs> off if your kids are playing with it there's fingerprints or if you're playing with it or just sure. all the things sure but you know just kind of makes you feel good when it's all nice and neat and <laughs> there okay. you go now we're just gonna take and just score this just a little bit and pull that plastic right off okay there we go oh yeah th easy yeah. I like it that come off. Yeah, that's so nice great. And easy. It really does. So this is the sewing inside. machine version that we're showing right now. Yep. Sorry, I may not have left too big of an opening. It's okay. I, I was getting carried away. I know you were so excited. <laughs> All right, I can pull it out. All right. Okay, so I'm not going to take the time to pull it out because of time, but what I would do is I would just turn this and Gosh, boss. <laughs> there we go. That'll come really nice. There you go. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so once you have that done, we're going to fill it. So we have our trusty little. So <laughs> all I used were poly pellets yes. for our snow. Yes. So poly pellets for the snow. Mm -hmm. And then we have all kinds of fun little. I love these little buttons and doodads yeah. for yeah. sure. And we've just picked them up. There's some here. There's some teeny tiny ones. Yeah, Doris said pinking shears would be cute. Yes. You could definitely do pinking shears on there for sure. So I'm just going to slide now, all this in here. Now the thing is here. you could also create like a little funnel if you yes. wanted to, right? Mm -hmm. So you didn't have those going all over the place. Yep. I'm going to try to be careful. Hey, you're doing great. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now the other thought that I had is you want to put some bigger buttons in. Yeah. All right, I know we've oh, had a sale on yes. these. And good idea. So your, our Kimberbell mm -hmm. uh, Cozy Winter yep. buttons. We have and these. we also have Whimsy. And we also have Whimsy. Yeah. Now, we, we are sold out of the Whisk, you and Mary, the, okay. here, but we do have Cozy, the okay. Cozy Winter collection. That's cute. So I cute. thought those would Add be just a little just penguin, a, a little yep. snowman. Love that. Judy, you're so cute. I wish I could sew a circle quickly and accurately. <laughs> Judy. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, Chris, I'm going to hand this back to you. What I want you to do is sew that okay. closed. You don't have to do this. It doesn't sure, have to be perfect yeah. because it's actually going to be covered by the base. Yep, and while you do that, I'm going to take two pieces of our Kimberbell leather and our base template is on here, and I am actually just going to cut the base out. So, I 
Judy, the reason Chris can sew so quickly is because she's got that Teflon foot on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Nothing right. holding me back, right? Okay, so Kay. now once we have our base on here, mm -hmm. we are going to just put wrong sides together. And I like to just line it up kind of where you uh -huh. had the opening. Where you be had sure, the opening, yeah. Be sure you're not going to hit any of those poly pellets. Yeah, I think that's really an important tip to share. And especially, you're going to find this to be the case the same um, if you're doing the machine embroidery version, which is this one right here. Mm -hmm. Be careful when you do this because you, you got to know that you know, this has got to be really pushed down. All of yep. that needs to be pushed away so that when you take it back to the machine, you have nothing that you hit. So that's really important. So also be careful how much you put into right. it, too. So Because you want to be able to, to shake it and get some movement mm -hmm. and some different, exactly. some different things around Exactly. Here. Okay, so I just used some clips. Oh, that is a good idea. That, rather than pin it. Yep. Um, and I just clipped right up here. Okay. Um, just here, push everything up here, and mm -hmm. I'm just going to have you just go right around okay. the edge on that. I'm happy to do that. Let's now, did you notice look. that I put Chris on the machine today? <laughs> that was self-preservation. Self-preservation. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, Deborah said she hit bought several packs last year on Pod Friday. Yeah. We've sold those, well, and I think we've all picked those up, and so now you know where yeah. how to use them. Yep. Oh, I don't have the pivot feature on. There we go. Let me turn that baby on. And there William we go. said you can hot glue that sucker in place. Absolutely, just don't melt your vinyl. Yeah, I was going to say the, the only problem with that would be the vinyl. Yep. And I get rid of my clip. I like the idea of using the clips there. That's great. Okay, and make sure that that is included in there. And I'm done. All righty. There we Isn't go. that so fun? It was so Dun simple. Da -da -da. So simple, so easy. You, so. Know, you know what I thought would also be fun is, especially for those of you with an embroidery machine, you could put it in the child's name right oh, here, too. would that be? So you could make individual ones and, and put in their name. That would be kind of cool. All right, do you have any embroidery? Because uh, we included two separate yes. patterns. Now, a lot of times we include the patterns together, mm -hmm. but be very careful if yes. you are ordering these because we have a machine embroidery version. Yes. We have a sewing version. They are two separate patterns. Yes. But they are both free, free in, in the, the club. club. Yep. So yay, club! <laughs>